2011 Corvette, 28,000 miles. It's a base model, but it's got the LT4 option. So in other words, it's got a lot of equipment. Um, done a few things to the vehicle. Obviously, you're gonna see I've done the uh, Morimoto, Morimoto um, uh, headlamps with the Morimoto um, fog lamps as well. Put some stripes on the front. Added some um, aftermarket wheels. Changed out the side markers. Added a rear spoiler. Every light in here, incandescent light, has been changed to an LED. Reverse lamps, everything. New tail lamps. I've actually, front and rear, instead of replacing that emblem, I just added a, added a um, piece of vinyl right there on that right side, which looks good. Got the cat back exhaust. The hooker cat back exhaust. Add the little Corvette that you can get off Amazon, the little emblems. Uh, if you stick it on there right, you never have to worry about it. Uh, fender flares. I say fender flares if that's what you call them. Um, front and rear, just to keep the. Uh, the paint looking good. Interior of the vehicle. <clears throat> Changed out the steering wheel. Uh, Seats are all in phenomenal condition. Vehicle's got 28,000 miles. Changed out the stereo system. It's got a uh, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, top cover, that piece down it towards the front up there. All these vehicles with the leather wrapped dash they all do that and it's a crazy expensive fix so i just just to cover it all up just so i didn't have to worry about it i got a nice custom dash pad added to it the only spot on this vehicle is some microscopic stuff in the very front um if you look back here at a glance you don't notice anything but if you get real close there's a slight blemish on the plastic in two spots right here it was that way when i got it but still it's there uh other than that you never notice it unless i pointed it out to you uh same way on the the whole vehicle there's not a not a speck on it anywhere tops in phenomenal condition uh what have i done to the vehicle when i first got it, it had twenty five thousand miles i changed the brake fluid the transmission fluid the rear differential fluid the um the engine oil the, uh, any fluid that this vehicle has in it has been changed. Um, uh, obviously, I didn't change the wiper uh, motor fluid. Uh, I've got a tidy tail added right here. It's a good spot for it. It don't move. It don't go anywhere. Pop the hood. And I have two keys that both work. You see, I just kind of ran it through here. You got it zip tied right there where it doesn't move and the hood closes perfectly. Doesn't affect anything whatsoever, the seal or nothing like that. I've even changed the uh, 
cabin air filter that's right up under here. I've changed that out. Um, Starting the vehicle up. Oh, goodness gracious. With that hooker uh, cat back exhaust. Um, even got the, uh, this is actually made for a C6 Corvette that just clamps on into there, on the side there. And you can remove this piece right here, this magnetic piece if you wanted to, or and put something else there if you wanted to or whatever. As you see, the, uh, the vehicle's kicking on. I haven't plugged anything in. I'm using my phone to record this video. Uh, Apple CarPlay, or Android Auto, I should say, is gonna start right up automatically. So, the little tidbit to, that I've added to this vehicle, uh, let's pop the trunk and look there. Of course, we've got the amp, the speaker, everything is pristine on this vehicle. sounds good with the top up you don't even hardly hear the exhaust unless you get on it, it sounds perfect perfect I don't know if I mentioned I added another steering wheel to it um, LT4 options I don't know if I mentioned as you see heads up display works great no issues there Everything on the vehicle works. No lights on, nothing. 